What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get through Route 15, I believe, all the way to Route or to Black City right here. Again, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do right here, so we're going to be moving on to Route 14. Now, this is where it's going to get very, very interesting because there's a lot to cover in this area, plus, well, I don't even know. We might even find one of those uh, sages that we've been looking for. If you want to enjoy the vibrant city life, visit Black City. Yeah, not going to do that anymore. People in the city are really something. Be careful because they'll cut. Yeah, they'll challenge you if you walk next to them or something like that. I don't know. So here we are, guys. Route 14 in all its glory. There is a lot of Pokemon right here. Some being Altaria, Beam, Jiflim, Golduck. Jigglypuff, Mindfu, Shuckle, and Tropius. Now, those are some Pokemon that you can actually find around here. Now, since it's winter, we won't really be, yeah, we won't be able to see a lot of the stuff going on right here, but you do need a Pokemon that has, uh, what was it called, uh, Waterfall, because we need to actually get around this area via wa Waterfall and all that stuff. Now, I did bring Gigalith back onto the team right here because, yeah, more than half the team is going to be required in this adventure right here. So, here we go. We're going to start battling some people. And you understand why Pokemon and trainers are together? Well, it's true. It's part of the game. I don't know. Okay, getting my pillow right here. So here we go. Ace Trainer Junko wants to battle coming with her Perugly right here. Haven't seen one of those little guys in quite some time right here. Definitely don't like them because... Yeah, one of these Pokemon... Yeah, very annoying and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and use a psychic attack. Finish this guy off and un yeah. Psychic attack is not gonna do it right now because Brugly is at level 68. And yeah. It's a little faster than our Pokemon right now, and here we go. Psychic attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? Almost does it? I don't know. I mean, it's, it took a good chunk, but let's go with the physical attack, and hopefully it does something for us right here, but look at that body slam. And yes, we snapped out of our confusion. Try hitting us now, you jerk Pokemon. Big ol' pussycat. Here we go. Fly attack. Yes, sir. And you know what? Thanks to Perugly, we got a nice boost right here. That is pretty cool. And everybody's getting experience points. So here she's going to be coming out with Espeon. <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. Getting sneezy and all that stuff. It's been quite some time that, uh, you know... Well, every single time I'm getting, like, distracted with either hiccups or just freaking sneezes. I don't even know. So here we go. Shadow Ball. Yep. Oh, nearly takes this guy out. And, well, let's take advantage of that whole uh, boost, uh, stat boost and all that stuff. And Psychic Attack nearly takes us out so let's go with a fly attack hopefully we don't get hit by a, a future site right here here we go fly attack come on and that does it yes sir yes sir taking advantage of that but that attack or the uh, swagger attack on us and well look at that and yes we're gonna take a future site and that takes us out right there so I think it's time to start switching out Pokemon right here. So let's go with Hotshot. Let's do it with Hotshot right now. Alrighty, Hotshot doing it. Ready to do it. Good golly, Hotshot ready to go. And I picked the wrong Pokemon for this job. So let's go with Shadar right here. Since it is a fighting type Pokemon, we're going up against Lapras, who is also an ice type Pokemon here. Alrighty, bring it. Bring it. Here comes that Hydro Pump. Damn. Takes a nice chunk out of my HP right there. So let's go with a high jump kick. There it is. Super effective. Come on. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. Almost does it. And here comes another Hydro Pump. That is not fair. That is not fair. Nearly takes us out right there, so let's go with one more high jump kick. Yes, we're really going to have to work at this now. Jeez, okay, and look at that. Everybody's getting experience points, and Junko is really making this work. That is true. Wow, first trainer, and she just, like, kills us right there. 
So that right there is a bit of an issue. We need to start healing up our Pokemon, and luckily for us, we bought a buttload of uh, healing items right here. That way our Pokemon can be further accommodated and all that stuff. Now, let's see. We have seven max revives. I'm not going to use it until, like, we really need them. So, the end goal for this whole thing right here, guys, is that we're going to explore the final routes and cities left in, uh, left in Pokemon Black. Um, we're actually enabled to go back into the Pokemon League since we already talked to Alder back at the Celestial Tower. Now, I do realize that there are two legendary Pokemon that we still need to capture, such as, uh, I believe Tornadus is one of them. And the following one is, let's see, uh, Kieron. But like I said in, I believe my Pokemon Oraz walkthrough, I will be coming out with like separate a separate series on how to capture the the other legendary Pokemon. Of course, I've already captured three of the le or four of the legendary Pokemon here. I will be including those into the uh, into the series. But Tornadus and Tornadus, Thunderous and Landris, they and of course Kiram are gonna have to wait until a later series right there because. Kind of, kind of need to finish this whole series right here, this whole walkthrough. And look at that, we found ourselves a Reaper Cloth. And, let's see, there's really nothing else that you can find right here except for Pokemon. Um, again, our mission right here is to locate the last of the Seven Sages. And I believe we're like right there, like right there at the cusp of finding them. So let's go right ahead and use this Waterfall Attack. Sign of the Torrent. Yeah, buddy. And would you look at that. Look who we found. The last of the Seven Sages. Talk to this guy. He's like, Greetings to you, strong Pokemon trainer who came to the Dragon Spiral Tower. Are you not making friends with Reshiram? There is a saying. If somewhere in this world there is someone who understands you, it feels like the person is right beside you. Even if you as you are you're as far as apart, the end of the land and the top of the sky. As my Lord N and his Pokemon understand one another, so to, to uh, do you and your Pokemon understand one another. Which is my reason for giving you this. And we get ourselves a TM08, which is bulk up. Very good move. Very, very good move. To bulk up your, you know, your stats and all that stuff. Uh, the Legend of Unova is about Pokemon and people working together to build a new world. The message is that simple and that strong. If changing the world makes you a hero, anyone can become a hero. As each of us changes that, or it changes what is in our power to change, so the power, so the world itself changes. And boom, out of nowhere, look who comes. Regarding Team Plasma, I am an officer of an international police, and you must supply the information I request. Indeed, I shall. Team Plasma changed me, but it, it could not change the world. I'm looking forward to seeing how you, how you lot will do. I thank you extremely! Curiously, Draven, there is a topic on which we must speak. A report has reached my ears of someone far from here. Indeed, is someone has spotted a person like Anne and a dragon Pokemon. I depart to substantiate the, the substance of this information. Until next time, I say cheers to you. Oh, so they found end somewhere. Okay, so that completes the search for the Seven Sages, but that does not mean that we, we're not, you know, we're not going to be battling everybody here. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to be getting through this whole route right here. Yes, there are some trainers. Some of them I will skip because, you know, I kind of I kind of need to get through this whole area. So, of course, I'm looking at I'm looking at the handbook right here. And I'm looking at different spots where you can actually find some good items. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and include as many routes as possible right here. That way you guys know what to find and all that crud. Uh, let's see. So, found that item. And now we're just going to be moving on forward right here. There's a few waterfalls. Make sure to have your waterfalls, guys. And this one right here, this area right here, will actually put us right into this spot. And, of course, there are some Pokemon trainers waiting for us. So, we're going to be sneaking right behind them. And, let's see, what does this say right here? Route 14. Now, here we are, going into a foggier area right here. Look at that. We are in Undella Town. First time we're ever in Undella Town. 
And before I say anything else, okay, so now, hold on, I gotta get back to this area now. There is an, there is an area right here, it's called the Abundant Trine. Now, it is close to where we were, where we, uh, where the hiker was. Actually, hold on. Okay. So it's close to where the hiker was, and it is a shrine to where you can actually find Tornadus. And that place I will actually f I will actually save until, you know, the extra series where I'm going to be capturing all these legendary Pokemon right there. So that is something that you guys should keep an eye out for when, you know, we get into that, that specific thing. Now, here we are in Undela Town. And like it says right here in the handbook, Undela Town is an elegant place to beat the heat and many manners line uh, the beach. During the summer, lots of people visit the, lo uh, the vacation. A large villa sits at the western edge of the uh, town. It's visited by members of a very wealthy family known as the Riches. Now, there is there is a specific trainer that you can actually find here in Udella Town. Now, the only thing is that I am going to be skipping her before the Pokemon League, mainly because I kind of want to use her as preparation. Now, here I am just... <laughs> Here I am, just like traveling around Undela's, uh, Undela Town, and well, let's see. There's not a lot of people right here right now because it's winter time, and there's not a lot of stuff that you can actually do right here. So what I'm gonna just do is, well, actually, hold on just a sec. You can go to Undela Bay right here. Now here's the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna actually go right here. I'm gonna actually uh, take a look at this uh, this whole thing right here. Now I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Now Undela Bay is home to the abysmal ruins right here, and for those who have played the who have played this game over and over again, you guys already know abysmal ruins is the worst place to be. It is the worst place just to be because of course uh, it's there's a place. Well, the abysmal ruins is a, a place of uh, you know. Oh god, I don't even know how to explain it. It just it just sucks. It really does. Like the place really sucks. I saw it on the walkthroughs and all that stuff. Do not want to go there. So I'm gonna have to skip that part for the uh, for the time being. Uh, let's see. So what we're gonna do? This is the house that we're gonna be skipping, and we're gonna be talking to this lady. Teach your Pokemon, and you can dive into the sea. Talk to her. She will give you the HMO6 dive. Haven't seen that technique since uh, Hoenn. And that will actually help us get to the Abysmal Ruins. Now, let's see. Uh, okay, so... Actually, if you go right here, there's a, pl there's a place where you can actually trade a Pokemon. Okay, so you can't do anything here yet. So let's go right ahead and go into this place. Now, there is a person that will want to trade you a Pokemon, but unfortunately, since it's winter... You can't do anything right now. There's going to be nobody here, and uh, let's see, there is an item close by right here. So let's go right here. Look at that, we got ourselves a big nugget, which will sell for a buttload of money. And let's see, what else can we find here? I don't even know. Uh, talk to this gentleman right here. You have an extremely bored look on your face. Okay, I'll let you have a very exciting Pokemon battle with me. Sure. You guys asked for it? Let's get this battle. Now, items billionaires uh, will buy. Now there are there are items here that you can actually buy and all that stuff. Uh, the flutes, like blue flute, yellow flute, red flute, all that stuff. Uh, very useless flutes that you can that you can eventually use and all that stuff. You can buy them right here. Uh, different Pokemon that you guys can, you can actually find in this place right here. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna be reading the book while I'm kicking butt right here. Now, on the water surface, you'll actually find Mantike, Pelipper, Wingle, Corsola. Let's see. The Ripples will be Corsola, Mantine, and Whalmer. Fishing, you'll actually find Love Disc, Remoraid, Shelter, and then, uh, let's see. Okay, so after you defeat this guy right here, he'll actually take him to this place, and, uh, well, let's see what this is all about. Isn't it great? It's isn't it spacious? This is my dad's villa, and I can really uh, I can use it freely. But when I come here, surprisingly, there's nothing to do, so I'm now bored. As you may know, my dad is totally obsessed with items at the ruins. Hey, you're bored, aren't you? Come here tomorrow too, and I don't uh, mind battling you again. Okay, so we can battle this guy every single day. Now, let's see, what was I saying? Now, if you fish on the ripples, you'll find cloister, love disc, artillery, and shelter. Some good Pokemon right there. 
yeah it's a pretty cool thing now we hopefully will come back here by the summer i don't even know how this changes so we're going to be moving on into the next part of this whole uh this whole uh what you might call it uh this whole uh, adventure right here and that is going into route 13 and this place yeah we're going to be finding a lot of trainers and all that stuff so well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy do you check the electronic bulletin boards the news about pokemon a mass outbreak is hot now yeah i'm not gonna read it i already know Okay, so here we are, Route 13, and this this is another place where you're going to be able to find a lot of stuff, a lot of items and all that stuff, and a lot of Pokemon. Some rare Pokemon, such as, you know, Absol, Drifflim, Golbat, Golbat Lunatone, Solrock, Sol Swallow, and Tangela, and then just a lot of Pokemon trainers, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. We're going to try and get through the majority of Route, Thor uh, th route 13, I think we're gonna end it right there because eventually, yeah, we're gonna be ending up in another town right here. Yes, we're gonna have to go into Lucknuso, Lucknosa town. I don't even know how to pronounce that stuff. Lucknosa, and here she comes out with a cricket time. Would you believe that cricket time? Okay, so let's go right ahead and start using fly. Let's go ahead and start making our Pokemon stronger than ever before. So here we go. Bite attack. He's trying to store some energy right there. Okay. So let's go. Fly attack. Come on. Finish him. And that's right. Some of these, some of these Pokemon trainers really need to train their, or really need to like evolve their Pokemon. And this guy's coming out, or this chick's coming out with a Chimeko. Chimeko, Chimeko. You know what? That, I'm just gonna stay put right here. And it is a ghost type Pokemon, right? Lesser known. Lesser used ghost type Pokemon. So let's go with a Shadow Ball right here. Let's go, Sigalyph. Take advantage of it. And Chimeko is a staying foot right there. That's obviously good, I guess. I don't even know. I really don't know. So let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business again with another Shadow Ball. And look at that. Goodbye. Alrighty, okay, alright, look at that, look at that, and Ace grows to level 74. I was training Ace off screen, guys. Trying to get these guys ready for the Pokemon League. They're gonna be strong as hell, including our next opponent right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, actually take this item away. Completely forgot to uh, take away the experience shirt right there. And, let's see, let's give this experience shirt to somebody else. Now, funny thing is, guys, it was in the area like where, where the Pokemon transfer park was. Yeah, the transfer park was. I was battling a lot of Pokemon, and believe it or not, I was actually hit with like five Tyranitars, and they give out some pretty damn good experience points. So that's that's actually a very good hotspot to actually train your Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna give this a hot shot right here because he needs a little bit more, uh, a little bit more oomph to his uh, his bam right there. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's see, what can we do? Go inside of the torrent right here and finish this guy off right now. While we watch the beautiful scenery, let's have an exciting Pokemon battle. Okay, so there's not much of a scenery because it's foggy, okay? I'm just I'm just throwing out that throwing, throwing that out there right now. So here we go, a gentleman Yan coming with his far-fetched. I haven't seen that Pokemon in white for quite some time. So there we go. Let's get it. Sigh of the Torrent. Let's get this. Uh, yeah. Waterfall will do it. Yes, sir. So, anywho, guys. How are you guys doing? How has every single one of you guys been? I mean, I look back and look at that. We get ourselves, bam, level 67. And, okay, so it's just completely off topic right there, but anywho, how have you guys been? Seriously, comment down below. I mean, when I started this whole walkthrough, it was back in March. I was very excited because, you know, I did promise you guys the completion of this whole thing right here. And didn't know it was going to take this long to actually finish this walkthrough. Actually, it's not the longest time I've ever, I've ever uh, taken on this walkthrough. It's just, you know, I would have gotten it done by J by July if it wasn't for that little break that I took but five months has gone by guys five freaking months and 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure many of you guys are trying to get back to school here. Or are you, I, I don't know, taking online school or something like that? I don't know what the deal is right now. But people are taking online classes. It, it's ridiculous. This pandemic is, uh, yeah. This pandemic has been just tiresome. So goddamn tiresome. And again, I, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying for all you guys that uh, you guys haven't gotten any uh, exposure or have any loved ones get any ex exposure or anything like that. Because that, that right there, that's not cool. It's not cool. It really isn't, man. Five months of this crap and <laughs> Look at that. We're almost done with this walk right here. Do not wait. So let's move this big old boulder right here. And bam, grab that. Now we're going to be grabbing this item right here. And this is the TM29 Psychic. Very, very awesome move. Cannot wait to use it. I think I already have a Pokemon that knows it. So, let's see. What else to talk about while I'm exploring here? I don't even know, guys. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. We're going to do something first right here. There is an item across the street, or across the, the river right here. And, let's see. I think there's a hidden there's a hidden item here somewhere. I don't even know. But there are there is some dark grass, and you'll be able to find some pretty interesting Pokemon right here, too. Uh, let's see, this is, I think this is the dark grass right here, so you'll be finding some Absols and all that stuff, so definitely a good place to actually start looking for some new Pokemon. As you probably already noticed, guys, I'm not here to actually, uh, you know, fill up my Pokedex or anything like that. Now, here we found the Deep Sea Scale, another, uh, what was it, another uh, item that you can actually use to evolve a, uh, a Clamp Pearl. Yeah, Clamp Pearl. And let's move on right here. And, oh, look at that. There's a big old puddle and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and start battling some people right here. A woman standing alone with a parasol in one hand at the beach. Hi, please have a battle with me. Okay, we're going to have a battle. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. Parasol lady, I completely forgot her name. She's coming out with her surskit. And, well, side of the torrent. Let's get it. So, again, you guys have noticed that I've been skipping a few trainers here and there. Is that okay? I know, I know a lot of you guys want me to battle. But I'm going to have to do that off screen because, again, I want to finish off this walkthrough. It is currently August 15th. I am planning on finishing this walkthrough this, very, uh, this upcoming week. So, hopefully that happens. And, uh, well... Like, none of you guys get all mad at me because, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, good old Draven is just skipping over trainers right here. Trust me, guys. There's a buttload of trainers that I have to look for. There's a few items that I want to get, so that's the main thing right there. I want to get the items, and I want to get to, uh, you know, the next the next thing right here. So, here we have Goldeen. Let's go with the Dragon Claw right here. And there we go. Look at that, look at that. No more Goldeen. So I guess it's easier just to battle the the uh, high-leveled uh, unevolved Pokemon right here. And well, he's coming out with the Sea King too. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna continue here with Shatter. Shatter, do not challenge me. So here we go, another Dragon Claw. Let's get this Dragon Claw for the win. And here comes the Agility Attack. Ah, Jeebus. That one's faster than me. So I'm going to have to hit him with the big guns right here with the high jump kick. And here comes its waterfall attack. No. No. And there we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Seeking. Defeated. Happy about that one right there. And no more parasol lady right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So let's see. We're going to go right here towards the left side of the screen. Now, if you talk to this guy here, he'll be able to sell you some uh, some treasure. Uh, let's see. Treasures hunting is fine. Sometimes things are buried in the sand dunes. Actually, I just found something. But it's the same one as uh, I uh, found before, so I'll give it this to you. And he will give us a big pearl. Now, every single time you walk to this guy, he will actually give you some kind of a... Yeah, he'll actually give you some kind of a item. Some of these items include like a deep sea scale, deep sea, uh, deep sea tooth. Um, for, well, actually, you, you're gonna get this all in order every single time. So today, I got myself a, a big pearl. The next one's gonna be a black flute, blue flute, 
deep sea scale, deep sea 2, deep sea scale again. Eventually, it's going to go to the dubious uh, disc, electrizer, and then, you know, so on and so forth. You're going to be getting a bunch of good items right here, evolutionary items right, uh, right there, too. So now, if you go here, you're actually going to find the move tutor. Let's see, the quest of power is uh, here very well. Let me teach your Pokemon astounding moves. They are the ultimate moves. Who should I teach? And this will only teach the starter Pokemon, which is Sigh of the Torrent. Hydro Cannon is its specialty right there, so I'm not going to teach it yet. And if you t t talk to this lady right here, yeah, she's going to be talking about which Pokemon are capable of using the ultimate moves, which are the starter Pokemon for, you know, generations 1 through... Run th one through five. I have to remember Hydra right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. And we've already defeated you. I do not want to battle you, so please don't turn around. And let's see. Yeah, there's a guy right there that wants to battle me, right? No, actually, he is not an opponent. Talk to this guy. Eh, what's that? A letter fell from the sky. Hmm, where? It's probably up top. Okay, so let's move on right here, and that's another trainer that will want to battle us. And there is a house around here, so let's go right ahead and... Yeah, we can't do... Okay, so I thought we were going to actually go there and crud, and we're going to be attacked by a Pokemon. And would you look at that, we're attacked by an Absol, uh, a.k.a. Uh, a.k.a. Noob Cybot. You know, our good old buddy from uh, Pokemon Emerald. You know, the one we replaced Raiden Hoot with. And let's go ahead and run away, because we don't need any of that right now. We don't. Okay, so let's go right up top, and let's see what we can actually find right here. Uh, yeah, we will be finding a trainer who is going to be running around, and let's see who this lady is. This lady is. This Wingle looks like it's lost three grams on uh, Route 13. I wish I could help it. Now, the grams... If you find the grams, they will actually give you the TM-89, which is U-turn, and I believe that will actually help us, uh, well, I think we can actually find them right here. It'll be somewhere around here. I think that's one of, like, some of the items that we're going to need to find, so what we're going to do right now is just explore a little bit more, and not battle any trainers right here, and uh, look at that. We found two items, one being a Razor Claw, which, you know, helps the Pokemon evolve, and look at that. We found that letter from the sky that the guy was talking about. Actually, that's Gram 2. Okay, so that's what they were talking about. Okay, so our, our mission right here is to go find for th go find some Grams. And, well, I'm going to have to try and evade this guy because, again, don't want to battle many too, too many Pokemon trainers. Kind of want to explore this whole thing be <laughs> before we go into the next town right here. So let's go right ahead and let's see what talk to this guy looking for Graham are you could you uh, could this be it I fell over my head I give it to this wingle so here's another Graham and well okay so that's two grams right there we gotta find the last one and they said it was three so let's go right ahead and use the serve technique right here and let's see where it takes us right here battling more trainers because Draven has to train and all that stuff. So here's an item, and this one is the Prism Scale. For those who don't know, Prism Scale actually is a held item for a Feebas. That way you can actually try and evolve it into Melodic. It's an actually a pretty good Pokemon right there too. And you do need a Pokemon that needs strength. So let's go right ahead and press this thing. And... Well, let's go ahead, press that, and... The effect has worn off. Now, let's read this sign right here. Let's see. What does this have to say? Route 13. Okay, so... Oh, look at that. The next town is ne the next town is over. There are two different locations that you can actually find. That is uh, Lacunota, uh, Lacunosa Town. And up top is uh, the giant chasm, or chasm. That right there is where you're going to actually find a, a Kiram. So... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and evade this lady right here because I do not want to battle her. Damn it! Okay. Okay, I'm only assuming that the last item that we have to find is uh, the last gram, so... Let's go ahead, maximum effort. We're going to have to battle some people, okay? And 
my worst nightmare. Boonary. 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 The Boonary. Alright, let's take care of business. Maximum effort. Let's go with the revenge. And just like that. Right, we're, yeah, we're losing attack right here. Okay, here we go. Bam. There we go. Damn you, Benary. Taking my my attack. Why would you do that? And here comes another charm attack. God dang it. Why would you do that to me? I've always been cool, man. Come on. I've always been cool. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Another revenge attack. Let's go. Revenge. For the win. And it yeah, we could have defeat we could have defeated this guy early on, but no, it is just using yeah. It's just using freaking charm, which is annoying. Very freaking annoying, so. Alright, let's try this again. Another revenge attack, which will win. It will. There we go, god dang it. Look at that. Look at that. That is how you do it, buddy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And well, here she's coming out with a shroomish, so let's go with a, po a possible good Pokemon right here for for the win. And well, let's go ahead and use Hodge down right here. Okay, come on, Shroomish, bring it. Even though your evolutionary line is pretty freaking cool, pretty freaking sweet in there. Alrighty, look at that fire punch. Please do not affect me with some kind of effect spore. Come on, and there you go. Say goodbye to Shroomish. That's right, we got lucky right there. And, well, she's coming out with a snubble, so I'm gonna just stay put right here with Hotshot. Lots of weak Pokemon right now. Lots and lots of weak Pokemon. So here we go. Let's go with the Super Power. Finish him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Look at that, snubble. Not so snubbly anymore. There we go. Goodbye, Snubble. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Last phase has just been defeated. Okay. So that's the only trainer we have to worry about. And of course we forget the repel. Kind of annoyed by that. And look at that. We'll find a Tangela. And the funny thing about this is that sometimes you you will find a Tangela with ancient power. Sometimes you won't. And if you don't find a, a, a Tangela with ancient power. You can always teach it its uh, reteach its move by with the move learner, and then after that level one or one level up, bam, yeah, one level up, and then bam, you can actually have yourself a uh, Tangy Grove or Tangy Grove or something like that. So let's go right ahead and let's see. I know one of my Pokemon have to will we'll probably have to learn a cut right here because none of my Pokemon know cut. And let's go ahead. Boot it up. Let's go and crud baskets. So Sigh of the Torrent is the only one that can learn it. So let me see. Hold on, just a sec. Is there? A, okay, so it, okay, so I can relearn X Scissors if I wanted to. So let's go ahead, use that cut technique and give it to Sigh of the Torrent. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I can relearn X Scissors whenever it wants. So I'm just gonna just do that. And, well, let's go right ahead and cut away these trees, because we don't want to mess with these trees right now. Look at that, side of the torrent, doing its thing, and look at that, we found ourselves another, or a max ether, and, well, that's pretty cool, that's awesome. Now, crud, we have to find that, uh, that third, uh, the third gram, okay, hold on, hold on, we're gonna find that third gram, somewhere, somewhere around here. I'm looking through the papers. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, damn. I think I know where it's at. Hold on. I think I know where it's at. Okay, so. It's probably a long shot right here, but. Oh, damn. I almost battled that kid. That would have been bad. Draven would have been PO'd. He would have been PO'd and. Oh, crud, oh, crud, 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 crud. Okay, here we go. Oh, great. Can, you, can that be the grand? Let's show Wingle, and Wingle is looking, and Reek, okay, and one more, looks happy, okay, so we gotta find that third gram, where the hell would it be? I'm assuming, oh crud, 
Where in the hell is that third gram? Okay, so it's gonna be a long shot, but I'm just gonna be riding my bike. This kid is like, I'm borderline about to attack that kid. Alright, so let's go ahead and start swimming. Don't want to battle anybody. I really don't. Alright, let's go. Maximum effort. You cannot see me. And let's go. actually hold on. Like I said before, guys, I, I think I know where the gram is. It's just, uh, I don't know. Like, the, the wheels are, or not the wheels, but the, 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 the grinders. The, yeah, whatever. The wheels are turning on this one right here. And, well, let's see. Dowsing machine. God dang it. Battling Pokemon, and look at that. We find ourselves a Swellow. Oh, dude. And look at that Swellow. It's level 57. So this is a this is a good thing. This is kind of a good thing. Thought I had my repel on. No, nope, couldn't get away because this Pokemon is fast. It's super fast. And come on, let me go. Let my people go. And god dang it. Yeah. I'm gonna need a Pokemon that's faster, stronger, or no, just faster. Come on, let me go. Thank you. Okay, so let's go right ahead and hold on just a sec for that. All right, let's see, let's see, where is, let's see, where is that uh, repel? Because I do not want to battle Pokemon. I really don't. Uh, damn! Come on, where are you, repels? Where? Are, uh, there you go. Cannot believe I missed that. Okay, let's go ahead and try and find this uh, third gram right here. So let's see. Ah, it's right up there. And no, we found ourselves a max revive. Okay, so that. Oh wait, there's more. Right. Okay, so right here. And we found ourselves a rare candy. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I guess. I don't know. Couldn't have been far. Jeebus criminy. Okay, so do not want to battle a Pokemon trainer or Pokemon, and I'm kind of having an issue where to find this third gram right here. Could be somewhere around here where, you know, I forgot to check. Right here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open this thing up. And let's see. Got that, got that, got that. Oh, crud. I, I think I know what it is. Oh, crud. Knew it! It's an Electrizer. That right there will actually evolve your uh, Electabuzz via trade and all that stuff. And, uh, oh, crud. You know, I'm a little stumped here. I really am. But like I said before, guys, you get the third gram and you will eventually... Like, you, she will eventually give you the... Uh, oh, hold on. She will eventually get you the TM89, which is a uh, U-turn. But I think... It's letting me know something right now. Hold on. It's right here somewhere. Where is it? Okay, so I think I know where it's at. Probably. I don't know. It's a hidden item. And I know that's already been 40 minutes of doing this whole thing. Me rambling on, but I'm looking for the gram, guys. I'm trying to look for the gram for you guys. Again, this is the first time I'm showcasing this on my channel. Yeah. And again, do not want to battle Pokemon, so let's go right here and stay away from that guy. Definitely don't want that. And okay, so hold on just a sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. May have messed up right here. It's somewhere here. Hold on. Okay, so it's up top somewhere. Yeah, I couldn't have gone far right there. Okay. So all we gotta do is avoid that little kid because he's looking for me. And damn it! Come on, why do I have to be so difficult? It's right here. No, nope, it's uh, hold on. Ah, oh, Jeebus! Uh, where the hell? Okay, so I'm assuming that it's in the in the water. It's in the water. I think it's in the water. Okay, so... Uh, balls. Okay, hold on. Get Escape the kid. <laughs> uh, talk about 
talk about it. God dang it. Again, I forgot my rebel. And look at that. We found ourselves a Ludotoad. Level 48. Pretty good Pokemon. Not going to capture it because not interested. So let's go right ahead and get the FL because this Pokemon is, you know, it's also psychic. Well, has psychic capabilities and all that stuff, so yeah. Do not want to battle. So let's go Super Repel again. Hopefully I do not waste every single one of my uh, repels onto that. So let's see. Ah, crud. I think I... Jeez, man. This is a, they're making it really hard for me to just, like, finish this whole thing. And I can't end this episode without tr without getting that last egg. Oh, God. Okay, so... Hold on. Bouncing machine. Alright, so... It's right here. Nope. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Huh. Where in the mother-loving heck is it? Damn it! Okay, so let's see. Hold on just a sec, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, God. I can already hear you guys be like, oh, it's right there, Draven. Holy crud. It's so easy. It's like right under your breath. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so let's see. Where the hell are you? I could... No. Uh, you suck. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's right here. It's right here somewhere. Ugh. Oh god. This is really getting this is really getting frustrating, guys. It really is. Uh let's see. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I well, hold on. Hold on. Okay, don't care. Yeah, don't care. We're in the mother-loving heck. Okay, screw it. I don't care. I really don't care. So, like I said before, guys, TM80... Hold on. Okay, I think I get it. God, I really don't want to quit. I really don't want to quit, guys. I really don't. Hold on. Come on, Draven. You can do this! I know you just turned 30. You don't want to lose any of your whole memories right here. Hold on just a sec. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you, you mother-loving... It's a freaking hard scale. Are you serious? Uh, never mind. Okay, so you guys already know where the third gram is. You guys already know what you can get with that third gram, and no, that Pokemon just like blew up out of nowhere right there. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. I get it, I get it, but you know what? I do what I want just because I want to finish this walkthrough as quickly as possible. So let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Now, like I said before, you can actually find the giant chasm right here. That will actually be uh, the home place for Kiram, which we will eventually get to in a later uh, series episode and all that stuff. Now, we're here. What the hell? Oh, come on. Don't tell me. No, actually, screw it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Here we are in Lakunosa Town, and this is actually where we're going to stop. In the next episode, we're going to be taking another tour of this whole town, and then, you know, try and fit as many, as, uh, as many things as possible before we hit the Pokemon League. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.